again. My name is Gabe Zona. This is the 7th of March, 2019. I actually posted this video a few days ago, and uh, I thought it was worth bringing to your attention again. Now, what's really frightening is that this mentally deranged woman is third in line for the Oval Office. I mean, all kidding aside, the way our system works is she's third in line. If something were to happen to Trump and to Pence, this mental degenerate is president. I want you to listen to what she says and how she says what she says. The video is titled, Pelosi Blabbering Incoherently on Laredo Border, February 2019. It was put up by BC TV Guy. It had 112,927 views. Now, what's really frightening is how dysfunctional our government is. Let's go back to brain dead Johnny McCain. Here's a guy that's diagnosed with brain cancer. And our system is so screwed up they allow him to vote on ending Obamacare. Again, he's got brain cancer. When he tries to feed himself, he's probably putting a spoon in his ear, you know, like this, you know. This is what's wrong with our system. These people need to be evaluated by healthcare professionals to make certain that they're capable of functioning in the roles that they're functioning in because of the criticality and importance of those roles. Pelosi has lost her mind. She's not well. McCain, we know, had brain cancer, yet the system allows him to vote. And his vote hung the American people with Obamacare. Absolutely insane. What has to happen is we have to establish term limits. There has to be an age limitation. Pelosi 78 years old. She's senile. But the system allows her to continue perpetuating the farce. McCain had brain cancer. What's wrong with our system? Would we allow a pilot for American or Delta or any other airline to fly in the condition that McCain was in? So why do we allow his vote to count? It's nuts! Absolutely nuts! Are you telling me that Maxine Waters is sane? You telling me that Pelosi is sane? They're not sane! They're nuts! But the system is designed to protect them because they're the lawmakers. Just like they can go ahead and do insider trading and make millions. While if you do insider trading, you go to prison. Aren't you tired of being, pardon the expression, fucked? I sure as hell am. Nothing's going to happen until the American people realize that they're fucked and they need to get unfucked and they need to march on Washington like the Yellow Jackets are doing in France and say we're tired of this bullshit because that's what it is it's absolute bullshit what do we hear? Huh? Russian collusion? distract, divert to deceive that's all it is Absolutely insane. Watch the clip. Listen to Pelosi blabbering. She's third in line for the presidency. Are you getting it? Who are you going to go to? There's no one to go to. Basically, we're all fucked. You don't want to hear it. I don't care. YouTube can go fuck themselves. You hear me? Google can go fuck themselves. 
And what does Trump do to protect us? Nothing. Has he done reciprocity for concealed carry? Ah, has he done that? He hasn't done squat. Has he drained a swamp? Yeah, he has. He brings him into his administration. The most recent one is William Barr, his attorney general. Absolute joke. Am I pissed? Yeah, I'm pissed. You know why I'm pissed? Because the American people are sitting on their fucking asses while our country's been taken away from us. You don't want to hear it? Don't listen.